Hello everybody and welcome back to Dark Souls. I was going to run through these areas again and reiterate a couple different points because um, <laughs> I just really kind of find it funny that you pledge your loyalty to the Rat King and technically you're supposed to go through this small area and protect the place fighting people online and the idea is that since they are enemies to this place that they would have rat tails and you're supposed to give the tails of his fallen friends back to him but if you leave the covenant <laughs> if you leave the covenant and just kind of fight the rats yourself it's like there's no way for him to know so you can kind of just betray him and get all of the uh items that he gives to you as you level up with his covenant so like <laughs> What was it? The, uh, the first time you level up, he talks about humans being liars and schemers. The second time... Oh yeah, that's right, for online. That... <sighs> so, you can, actually... I thought that it was a limited item. The Pharos Lockstones that allow you to get to special places. You can also put them in different areas in here and use them for traps like those rat statues pour out acid that is supposed to wear down your equipment so you've got to like strategically time it out and jump over here but uh yeah he talks about humans being liars and schemers and then the second time you level up with him he's like uh humans were supposed to envelop the domain that was touched by the sun and the rats have <sighs> the rats have um they can play around below like in the underground but then they got greedy and they moved into the territory and started killing his friends yeah that's right and every time you leave and come back to him he's like your treason will not go unpunished. Oh, hey, do you want... You want some more rat tails? Some souvenirs from your fallen friends? <laughs> My servant. Well met, indeed. It would seem some sunlight poison creatures are worthy of great honor. <laughs> yeah, sure, right. even though I have the whole way. So the next thing I wanted to talk about was how I ran around the Lost Bastille a little bit to give myself a preview of the area. And the very first person that I bothered to free from stone was because he had a fast travel point, a bonfire right behind him, and I wanted to get to it. But... The stuff that he was talking about kind of ties into what I was saying before about a grave being a prison, how I was trying to connect the place that I was going to go with the place that I am now. And it's cool to learn that you get flame butterflies from this, because I was trying to figure that out before. Ooh, charcoal pine resin, that allows me to add flame to my weapons if I want. Alright, that's pretty neat. That's good to know. We're learning things! Anyways, one of the things that he was talking about was that he... He was from the Old Kingdom. Apparently, Drang Lake was built over the top of something else, and... Um, I don't know if I touched on it when I was running through here before, but it's like... Because I was trying to figure out how long it would take to... Ah! 
how long it would take to restructure a whole bunch of dirt over a city like the secrets that they're trying to hide the secrets that they were trying to bury because um there's under the under the town under that pit is a grave and under that is this whole abandoned city that I'm pretty sure has been long since forgotten, but I also was kind of wondering at some point, especially because of the Black Gulch and how, how the walls are glowing down there and how the walls are alive up here how they're how they seem to be alive how they're kind of shifting and moving well like what if somewhere down the way as you're trying to make your way down through the core of the earth that part of where you go is like was devoured by some creature right like we're inside of a giant worm or something like this is supposed to be its its throat and the black gulch is supposed to be like its stomach or something ah I just wanted to show everybody this area since I've lit it all up to oh no oh <sighs> You know, that's close enough to the next bonfire anyway that I can just grab it and run. Uh, I was going to show everybody the only zip line that I have found in the game too, because uh, as I'm going through, I'm trying to collect the Estes Flask shards, which is what allows you to upgrade to upgrade your health potion so you have more uses to it. What is uh, this one, I think. And where you have to fall down and then climb up, there's the only zip line in the game, and it moves pretty well, which I'm glad for. You know, there's... Uh... <sighs> When I saw one in Assassin's Creed Odyssey, I was glad to find it, but the way that they move in that game is so slow that it's disappointing. Like, every other game does it right, and then I don't- Ah, no! Why- <laughs> Why did I do that to myself? Like, I'm trying to get to the next area and the next boss, and I tried to look up the next boss at least in the sense of where it is, because if, if I have to go... Great, don't knock me off, please. If I have to go through another fog gate... Why didn't it jump? I pressed the button. It's... Yes, I know. I died. <sighs> repetition, repetition. Practice is key. If, if you don't succeed first, try, try again. <laughs> sure. I'm only getting more insane by the minute. This is the third time now. Now, run a little bit and jump. I had to turn and jump and it wouldn't. Okay, so here's the idea. Are 30,000 souls really worth getting? I mean, in the Black Gulch, like after I defeat all the, after I break all the poison statues, the things that you can farm with give you like, I don't know, let's round it and just say 6,500 souls, and that takes like a minute. So, 
It's just because I don't want to feel like I've lost something. Okay, good. Here we go. Back on our way. I don't think it's it's too far down to the bottom, is it? Oh yeah, that's right. Now that I finally succeeded in that after how many Oh my god. <laughs> like sure, I can go to the next bonfire, but uh <laughs> me failing over and over. Trust me, it's entertainment for me too. It's like how could a person be so bad? Well, watch this. You want to see me do it again? Cuz I know I can. Uh but yeah, I'm pretty sure... Oh, I didn't realize that there was something that I haven't gotten yet. I thought I'd done this whole area by now. I actually passed through somebody? That's interesting. Uh, so that was over here. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, most of the enemies in this area, like, you pick up prisoners clothes from them so I guess they have to be prisoners by contacts clue uh, I wonder if I can jump over there can, can I risk it should I risk it nope oh wow that was ah <sighs> okay but uh I'm sure that you've noticed my new sorcerer's staff, and I was going to show everybody before I got to the boss. Um, yeah, well now that there's a reason to stay down here, I've got to figure out how to get that item. Not out of greediness, just out of like, I don't know, collector's curiosity. I would say they're okay cool I press the button to climb up but like don't acknowledge that I'm doing anything game that's really neat that's super great yeah it's not the bosses that'll get you it's the mechanics good job Dark Souls good job from software ah Yeah, was... Yeah, if I would have done it on time, too. I was going to make a joke about, instead of software, it was going to be vaporware with how much of it is missing. Oh, no. Well, there go my souls anyway. I will figure out how to get that item later. I am already... We're just going to go to the next area. Ooh, lizard staff. There's gonna be a new one later. Okay, that's cool. That's one of those things that I really like about uh, about this iteration in the series also because there are way more staffs than I have never than I have ever known. There's way more dark spells than there are than I've seen in the other games. Um, but yeah, let's, let's just run through this area for now. There is a series of ledges that you fall down to get to this pair of giants. And in their possession is a key that was dropped down into the gutter long ago. Gotta wait until I'm done being poisoned. Okay, run through this space. Alright, good. Is it... It's kind of hard to tell where the ledge is, too. Right. So, uh, so we just run past this. They do something. Okay, cool. Don't... Ah! Right. 
Yeah, these stupid leeches. I. Oh, wow. That was lucky. Oh, wait, what? Oh, yeah, that's right. It's because I'm online. That's perfect. But yeah, there are these giants. A little beefier looking than the uh, tree giant that I fought some time ago now. And they have... Ah, 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 wait. Just the way that the camera angles were, it was hard to get into this thing. But yeah, you you run into it and it closes, kind of like an elevator thing. Yeah, of course you have, because I didn't break all of the poison statues. These things are a pain. It's like there's there's no reason to farm in this area unless you break all of that because it's just it can kill you way too quick if you don't know what you're doing. But yeah, that was the way that I was able to get a hold of the staff that I have now. <sighs> Actually, since this is where I'm going to go anyway, I see where my timer is. I'm going to methodically, carefully break these statues and head back to the bonfire get everything all set up and then in the next video <laughs> sorry I paused a little bit because I forgot to say that uh, where you go after you get that key is I don't know if I showed it when I was trying to show off the well this ladder that you drop down to and then there's a secret room and you also get a dragon talon that allows you to I I I found the door once it's on one of those ledges that you drop down to get to the giants in here I think cuz there's supposed to be one ledge before that that I kind of failed to get to. Come on. And that door allows you to get to one of the first DLC areas, I think, that has a bunch of dragons, if I want to remember. But yeah, anyways, in the next video, I am going to deal with the boss, and hopefully it will be something more than just that rat swarm that I fought last time. I want a challenge. I really do. <laughs> I was gonna say it a few minutes ago, I do apologize if it seems like I'm shouting, it's very loud to me and I forgot to turn my headset down. But anyways, I hope that you liked me talking about stuff and trying to figure out what's going on with this area. Like, I'm really interested in all this. No, 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 no. I was, <sighs> I was breaking the statues so that I wouldn't have to deal with them again. If you die, they come back. So I will I will close this video out. Like, comment, and subscribe. I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that you enjoy the next video. I hope that you have a good rest of your day. And if you don't, well, I don't know. I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> I was gonna make a joke and it fell flat. I'm sorry. Ooh, who's this, uh, jester? That's, uh, that's kind of interesting. I didn't know that you could get that. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of, uh, 
there's a whole bunch more different items than you see in the other ones, just kind of like comical things that you wouldn't expect. Um, anyways, next time you see me, I will be fighting the boss. Wish me luck. Goodbye. <laughs>